All right, so in this section, I want to show you how to send an invoice to your customer. What is an invoice? It's simply a bill, right? So when you receive a bill from, you know, the light company, they're sending you an invoice, right? So this is basically what you're sending to your customers as invoices so they can pay you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take myself off the screen. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Clean Biz Network CRM. And I'm going to click on payments right here in this left-hand corner. All right, so what you click on the invoices tab, Yours is probably going to be blank here because you won't, you haven't sent any invoices yet. So it's two types of invoices that you can send. You can click on new here to send one. And what you can do is click on either A, send a new invoice. So that just be one single invoice or B, create a new recurring invoice. So that would be a good idea to create a recurring invoice. If you just sign with a new commercial cleaning customer and you want it to uh, send them an invoice every month on the first or the fifth or whatever day that you want to bill your customer. All right. So I'll walk you through both, but right now, I also want to point out that you also want to click uh, integrate payment gateway. And so what this will do is allow you to get paid electronically. So if the customers want to pay you via e-check or with a debit card, uh, you know, any way online, they will be able to do so using either, you can either connect your Stripe account, and I highly recommend that you create a Stripe account, or you can go through authorize.net or NMI or even PayPal, all right? But I will say connect your Stripe account so that way you can receive payments online. Now, if you don't, you don't need to connect, uh, receive payments online, you're interested, then don't worry about it because you can still send invoices and, and they'll just be PDF uh, invoices. And when you send them over, your customer can mail you your check, which is, it is uh, common in the commercial cleaning space. All right. So I'm going to, now if you're in residential, I would highly recommend connecting Stripe so you can receive digital payments. All right. Because, you know, residential customers, they use their credit card. All right, so let's go back to all invoices. And we're going to create a new invoice. We'll do a standard invoice first. So just create one new invoice. All right, now here is your standard logo. I just put this logo here as a, uh, you know, as a dummy one, but you can click remove here and just select a different file if you got one. So I'm going to just put this uh, logo here instead. All right, and then I'm going to come down. I'm going to put bill to so this will be the customer that you have in your system so if you already have a customer in your system you can connect it uh, select it if you don't you can add a new client so we'll click add a new client we'll put the name so if this was a residential obviously you will put the first and last name or maybe you could even put like the Simmons residence something like that we'll put an email there so I'll put a throwaway email there all right, so we got all of that information there. And then right here, it does allow you to add a company name. So if you were doing uh, commercial, then you would have definitely want to add a company name here. So instead I might put, uh, let's just say McDonald's Corp. And then right here where they had the person's name, instead you can either put your point of contact or you can put accounts payable. All right. Then you want to change the invoice number. So I, I never like to start off with like a low number to begin with. I don't want to make it obvious that, uh, you know, we're brand new in business. So I might put CBN as the prefix and then start with seven and then go zero, one, twenty one or something like that. Then every every invoice after that would just go up from twenty one to twenty two to twenty three. But I don't like to never like to start off with one just because I don't want people to know, you know, how new of a, a company that we are. All right. So this will be the issue date. So you definitely want to update that. So. You can't pick a date that's later than today's date for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but so you want to put the issue date. Let's just say the issue date was the first. So the due the date is the first of September. All right. And we can come down here and we want to add an item now. So add an item. You can select a product if you already have one. So you might probably already have commercial cleaning service uh, imported because I added it for you, most of you guys anyway on your account. And then you can select a common price for that. So. Uh, click save and so that's just one I have saved actually but you can always change that and just override it all right so what we'll do is we'll change it to let's just say it was five thousand dollars for this particular invoice and then we'll X click off of that you can add tax so if you know that you have uh, to collect sales tax in your area then you want to add tax in the payments. Go to, so go to payments and then go to tax settings. But for now, I'm going to uh, assume that you don't have to. You're not required to charge sales tax in your area. All right. 
Uh, you can add an item description if you want to. So you can just say routine cleaning services for, I think I said, it. yeah, I did. Services for the month of July. All right. Then next, we will come down here if you needed to add a discount or anything, which I don't see why you would. And then here you can add some, um, you know, some final notes. And so I probably will put something like this. I just had this saved, so I'll just put maybe like uh, the payment again. Reiterate when the payment is due. So I will put payment is due on the first, so September first. Change that. All right, and payment. Then I'll make that a separate line. Payments can be mailed to blah blah blah, and then right there. Thank you for your business. So if you if you're gonna uh, do accept checks, then just make sure you put the address where they can send checks to. You already have it up here as well, but you can always reiterate it down there. And then I always thank them for their business. Then I will click off. I will come up to save. And then if you're ready to send it, you can go ahead and send the invoice over. All right. So click send, and then we'll be we'll be done. So that's how you create one standard invoice. All right. Now I'm going to go back and show you how to do a recurring invoice. <clears throat> and you can see this invoice right here was saved as a draft because I didn't actually send it. I didn't want to send it. I just wanted to use it as an example to show you how to create an invoice, right? Now let's just say you have a new recurring customer and you want to create a new recurring invoice. So click on recurring templates. All right. And now you're going to click new. Click new uh, recurring template. All right, they're going to ask you how often, so you can put monthly. If you want to send it on the first of every month, you can put the first. So you want to put date and then the first of every one month. All right, all right. Then start date, you can put a first. All right, and then you can say it never ends. All right, or you can have it in by the last the, a year from that date. All right. So if you know that you do annual increases every year. And you may not remember to do the increase. So for whatever reason, maybe just a one-year term and you're going to stop completely. Whatever it is, you can put an end date. Or we can just put never. All right. Then send the end. I will put never until it's time for you to actually cancel or anything changes. You can come and update it at that point. All right. So send invoice blank days in advance. So I probably will send it 30 days in advance. Okay. So apparently the most days in advance that you could send the invoices out it seems to be at least 28 days so I would just put 28 days here and then send out the invoice 28 days in advance so you want to bill to the customer so let's just pick a customer here put the company name alright we can change that company name accounts payable all right, we already got everything there. And then what else do we want to do? We want to add a, a service, right? So we'll go ahead and go to commercial cleaning service. I can leave that there and just override the price over here. So we'll say pay us $5,000 every single month. You can put a description, routine cleaning, uh, routine monthly cleaning services. All right, we won't even put monthly because then that make it sound like you only come in once a month. Just routine cleaning services or janitorial services. All right, and I wouldn't be as detailed and say which month. Why? Because this is a recurring invoice and it's going to change every month, right? Then we'll add our notes at the bottom. We can just kind of tweak this a bit. So we'll just say uh, payment is due on the date above. Payments can be mailed to blah, blah, blah. And then thank you for your business. So let's go ahead and click save here. So let's try scheduling it. And then we'll do this in, let's see. We'll send a email to ourselves. We'll put it in test mode. All right. And then so right here, just make sure it's not the actual customer's email because this will still send it to them even though they won't be able to make the payment. All right. Then also enable auto payment. So if you already have the customer's payment on file, then you can enable that if you want this to be a live uh, uh, invoice but if you don't want it to be live then take that off alright because it's going to automatically charge the customer's card immediately if you keep that on alright and then just make sure you have that there and then go ahead and click uh, schedule
And once you send you schedule your recurring inv invoice to send, you can see it'll show up right here under your recurring uh, templates here. And this is the one that we already scheduled it out to be sent out every month. All right, so that's how you would send an invoice using the Clean Biz Network CRM.